can there be room for distinctions of high and low where there is this all-embracing fundamental unity underlying the outward diversity? Gandhi, Young India, September 24, 1921. The German philosopher Hegel is the one who coined the term unity and diversity, and I've often thought that this is the biggest missing idea in modern civilization. Where there's differences, we automatically start thinking, okay, who's better? Which is high, which is low? Gandhi said differences are horizontal, not vertical. Everything is there in its place. Its place is correct and beautiful, as St. Augustine said, and no one is superior to another. Therefore, all have to be harmonized into one unity without, this is critically important, without sacrificing their diversity. Otherwise, what you get is uniformity, which is not unity. So then the question is, how do unity and diversity coexist? Well, they do not interfere with one another because unity is within, diversity is without. That's a, a simple rule that I think uh, we can apply in many situations and get us to that Hegelian ideal of unity and diversity, which is the world order predicated on nonviolence.